take you to that inmate escape seemingly from a movie script. Broken windows, a tied up bed sheet, just some of the evidence of this at the Talbert House. Yeah, and you see a car driving by. Mm -hmm. Somebody has seen this. That's where we find WCPO 9 News reporter Ali Kramer with the latest on several escapees in Hamilton County recently and what's being done about it. Good morning, Ali. Uh, good morning, guys. Oh my God, can you imagine driving by? Reading Road is busy right here where you connect with 71 and seeing this, you know, this guy uh, jumping out of a window. That's exactly what was happening. Patrick Thomas threw a chair, we're told, through a window. This is a minimum security facility, the Talbert House right here along Reading Road. And this morning you can see that it looks like it's just boarded up that section of window with a piece of plywood, so not repaired. And we were told, look, this window wasn't even really that secure because they thought it was inaccessible. Uh, well, that's not truly the case we're learning. You can see in this surveillance video Thomas's escape as he makes a 15 foot drop from some bed sheets that he dropped out the window and he kind of, uh, you know, you, you can see almost like he gets hurt and then he kind of hobbles and runs away. His escape is bringing to light a number of recent escapes, four in fact, in the last three weeks. Sheriff Charmaine McGuffey calling this unprecedented. She says that she admits an aging jail facility creates big safety concerns. Two of the recent inmate escapes were at the main jail downtown. Inmates slipped out when others were being released. The camera system that is down at that door that accesses out to the public area is not the best. In fact, most of the time it's not operating. Um, and so we are going to install a better camera there uh, making sure that when an officer hits that door, they have complete visual um, ID on who's going through it. Right there, I mean, the sheriff admitting that, look, our cameras don't always work, and so that's kind of where some of this downfall comes. Uh, three of the four inmates have been uh, recovered, captured. The only one still out there, Thomas, you saw there, he has a P tattoo right in the middle of his forehead, uh, hard to miss. They say he is considered dangerous. If you do see him, do not approach, or if you know where he's staying, just call 911. For now, reporting live, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News.